I have been doing some cultist trials today, and I will admit my team's pretty stacked for cultists. Uh, I have a lot of legendaries, so this has been pretty easy, uh, but I figured I would just kind of show you guys how I was doing it. So, um, and maybe give some tips as well. Obviously, this isn't super replicatable because I do have a lot of legendaries, but it's fine. Anyways, um, let's get into it. This is the team I have. Morgan it won't be placed, but, you know, she's just a lord. Aeon probably works just as well. Well, not just as well, but she probably works more or less okay. Um, and then I have Iona and Greed for the right side, which I will show you in a second. Uh, Greed is a pretty terrible Soulbound Arcana set, but it's fine. Uh, he's kind of the MVP of this stage. Bjorn is uh, for one of the sides on our left, and then I have Kriya, Zealous, and then I use Aatrox and Cerberus for the other side. Uh, Cyrene's for cost generation, and also because there's this annoying fighter restriction. Uh, kind of like how with Esotericist they have the really annoying uh, healer restriction. So if you don't have a legendary option for that, like Cerberus or Uridin, you can't get it done, unfortunately, but whatever, it's fine. Anyways, let's just get into it. I just kind of swap my good gear sets onto these guys purely for these uh, stages. And yeah, let's get into it. So I like to put Greed here. He will be attacked by the flying guys, but he will actually deal with the flying guys and deal a lot of damage to the group. Uh, he's really good for this. And then I put Cyrene purely to block them for a little bit and also for some uh, cost generation. And we should be able to barely take this thing down. Um, Although, it's a little bit rough. Uh, looks like my gear on Greed is not quite good enough, so we might need to restart and swap gear a little bit. Uh, I did beat 11 with the gear, but I guess uh, my gear set was so bad that um, it didn't really work. But that's okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap his gear maybe with... Uh, Kriya, actually, because Kriya is only 5 stars, and I have my best gear set on her for some reason. Um, so I don't think I really need to do that. Uh, she doesn't really help too, too much. She's for the top left. She's only level 50, so maybe this gear set will do a bit better. Um, but anyways, back to what I was saying. We have Greed. Greed is really good. Greed does a lot of damage. He's A5. You kind of need him A5 to do this. Um... Because then he slows and he burns. And that's very helpful. And then I've been putting Kriya up here. Uh, just because why not. And as you can see, Greed can now clear that side. Um, and then I put Aatrox generally. And I guess I'll put Cerberus here now because I need a little bit of extra firepower. Um, I've been putting like these types of characters up here. Just to help Kriya out a little bit, because she needs a lot of help. She's not a good character, let's be real. Um, and then I, I deal with the bottom with uh, Bierna and Hollow. Hollow just keep Bierna alive when the fish come, and Greed should be able to live on his own. Which is really, really nice. I put Cyrene back just for a bit of cost regen, and just so that she's there for next time. And then Bierna clears uh, the rest of that wave. I don't need to hollow the alt there, but I like it. And then I put Zealous at the top just for some extra support for Kriya. Um, because once again, Kriya is not the best. And then I kind of alt with her. She doesn't have as good gear as she did before, so it can be a bit rough. Um, and we are maybe going to struggle a little bit with this guy, but we should be hopefully okay. I'll just pop the alt just because I'm stressed. I should have popped Iona a lot sooner, but we should be okay. And then Vierna, once again, will be able to clear this wave, and then we'll have Aatrox and Cerberus for the top. Um, there we go. Hopefully Greed will be good here. Um, he should be, but I could always put down Morrigan on this top square to help uh, bait out a lot of the damage. Hopefully we're going to be okay with uh, the top here. I might actually put Aatrox so that I don't die from the top, and then I'm going to pop that alt. Uh, I, I put Aatrox there because I know that Cerberus will probably be good up here. Um, 
popping some alts, and then I have Zealous alt for um, just a minute. And now uh, Vierna's covering the bottom, hopefully Vierna will be okay, and we're going to be able to clear it, hopefully. I'm not 100% sure, but we should be mostly okay. Um, we're going to Vierna alt this, and we should be good. Boom, Vierna execute, and we win. So that's kind of just the cult of stage for me. Um, some normal tips, if you just had normal characters. Uh, generally, you'd use Cerberus and Aatrox for the bottom wave, but it wasn't working for me, so I didn't. Um, and then for the top, you could use all sorts of things. Um, I was recommended to use... I don't remember who. Um, I know someone recommended to me to use... Uh, I don't know. Use something for the top left. <laughs> um, oh yeah, he's, they said to use Vierna for the top left, to use Cerberus and Aatrox for the bottom, and then Greed and Morrigan like I did. Although they said to put uh, Hollow onto Greed so that they don't die, but it's whatever. Anyways, um, that's about it for my clear. Um, as I said once again, this is not a guide. Uh, I might do a guide in the future, but this is not a guide, this is just how I cleared it, because why not? Uh, it is my second um, Faction Trial 12 done, as you can see, nice million gold and skill crystal. Um, I'm definitely going to put that into Procure, I'm very close to getting Procure fully skilled. Um, as you can see, that's my first fully, fully cleared um, Faction Trial, but as a Terrorist, uh, apart from that annoying healer requirement, I have completely finished as well, because Boreas is, frankly, the most overpowered unit in the game. I'm hoping I can get Watchers done fairly soon. I've been very close to getting Watchers done, but not quite. And then, pure, uh, I mean, Northerners, I can do once I get Shamir. I'm just missing one DPS, so either Valkyria, Ardea, or Shamir will let me beat it, because Shamir surprisingly can be used as a DPS. Uh, Nightmare Trials, I think, is the one I'm furthest away from beating. I need, like, two or three other legendaries for that, like, I'm not sure, but I think I need Valeria or Salazar or something. Uh, Infernal, I need Setrum pretty bad, and then Piercers, I might be able, able to clear, but I'm not 100% sure quite yet. Anyways, that's about it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed, um, and this maybe somewhat helped or just was at least semi an entertaining watch. Uh, I just figured I would document my journey. Anyways, that's about it for me. Bye-bye.